got the four teams working out of these three offices. We've got 10 to 14 people on duty at any given point in time. And we have shift overlaps, mm -hmm. uh, which means we can double that amount for two, three, four hours a day, depending on the time. Um, all of these people are working out of these offices where they have to come in and get documentation, paperwork, accident reports, turn in reports, have reports reviewed. Uh, you walk down the hall some days and you've got officers lined up uh, waiting to see their supervisor in order to turn in reports and have the reports re reviewed and approved. Uh, and it's just a total, totally inefficient. It's a total log jam. A uh, log jam, it is. Uh, I would much rather have those officers available where they can come in, drop off their paperwork, and get back out on the streets, uh -huh. where they can actually be available uh, or be able to respond more readily and more quickly right. to any situation that develops. It's an efficiency issue in a way. Uh, in many ways, it is an efficiency issue. It's also a human comfort issue. Mm -hmm. uh, it's difficult for officers uh, to be jammed into a bit, into an area trying to complete that paperwork and having that constant pressure will hurry up, somebody's behind you, somebody's next. Mm -hmm. um, and perhaps that also applies to efficiency when you're looking at the quality of the job and somebody's rushing you uh, to get into that available computer or to that next um, accident report or whatever the case may be, um, I think that also lessens the quality of our work. Yeah, and it's something that, as you say, a human issue is reflected in the quality of work, but also police officers face a lot more job stress than most of us, let's face it. I mean, I have deadlines and stuff that goes on, but I don't think it's anything like what the average police uh, police officer faces on a weekly basis. Well, I think that's correct. I mean, it, officers, an officer's job is really difficult to explain in many ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's on occasion hours of boredom mm -hmm. while you're out there patrolling the streets, nothing's happening, you're checking buildings, uh, you're looking for suspicious activity, and then suddenly you receive a call over the radio or you observe something that flips that switch immediately. Mm -hmm. Now you're going from... Zero to 120 or something. The adrenaline pumps, you've got to deal with the situation, you have to make quick decisions, and all of those changes have an effect on, on the officer's uh, on metabolism, ability to sleep, right. I mean, all those stress levels. Uh, they rise and they fall so rapidly, most people really have a difficult time understanding mm -hmm. uh, how quickly things change out there and how quickly your body can, has to respond and react. Yeah.